Mimi Buda Boss live kama K leo ni Super Sunday mali supenda kuchambua vitu mbili tatu za Biblos. Na leo mti yangu mazaye nataka tuangalie story moja ime ni nice design moja fine thank you kama K mimi ni anka wako Buda Boss hapo na mali mupenda kujiachilia thing in my feel tukichambua vitu mbili tatu zenye zinafaa za impact life yetu ki spiritual. I'll see you. Leo nataka mazaye to discuss how god evaluates our giving but i suspect umekuwa kwa church yenye chana ka church fulani na baadhi mwenye alikuwa spo church ni boys wangu sana ni pasi moja unibamba design ya koruka ilikuwa na kam time ya offering mtu yangu anakuambia oya inua offering juu wewe ukija inua offering juu anakuambia sitaki kuona bulletproof in other words hakuna cha coins hiyo church ai wewe unataka kupatia mungu bulletproof haiwezi kama una offering anaambia mse yako next na wewe oya pea huo jamaa offering ndo muambie asikuje kwa the house of the lord empty handed pan tambue hiyo maneno of course alikuwa na try to teach to what to the value of to come before the presence of god na they are offering to come unajua at least una come to worship with your giving as well but the execution is story ngine tofauti all the same number 2 mtiango probably umekuwa places umesikia gazele za haya Watu wa 10,000 kujeni. Mnakuja mnaweka mnaombea. Watu wa 5,000 kujeni. Mnaweka mnaombea. Watu wa 1,000 nyinyi wengine jiombeni. Ya, Mungu akuinue uweze kukuja kwa nyumba ya Bwana na kitu yenye inaitwa substance. <laughs> na probably umejipata mahali unajiambia, do I have enough to give? Wacha tu check story moja hapa. Mimi me ni touch nikisoma niki analyze na nikisikiza God akinizungumzia about it. Mark 12 from verse 41 to verse 44. The story interesting. Wacha nisome ndio nikuje kueleza zile vitu nimesikia Mungu akiniongelesha about them. Jesus sat down opposite the place where the offerings were put and watched the crowd putting their money into the temple treasury. Yaani piga picha. Wako kwa temple. Christ ameka directly opposite. Place watu wanaweka wanaleta offering. Ana watch mti yangu. Watu wanakaa wanatumbukiza, wanatumbukiza, yeye ana check tu. Anaangalia tu mraia, wanaka in crowds, ana check tu. Buda, what I need suggest here that every time we come to give God is watching. The question to ask ourselves is what is he watching out for? Kuna na story mti yangu. Many rich people threw in large amounts. Hata Yesu aliti, hii pesa ni mingi wewe. Yesu aliti large amounts. All right? But a poor widow came and put in two very small copper coins worth only a fraction of a penny so in any baba kwa statement ni mazee watu wali give in large numbers but Christ aka single out the poor widow in other words mti yangu we can give in numbers but gifts are received individually we give collectively but the receiver receives them individually. Chikile hiyo point ukiendelea mti yangu. Calling his disciples to him. Jesus said, I tell you the truth. This poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others. Kitingine imenishika kwa hii statement ni Jesus Christ haku announce kwa the entire temple ama the entire synagogue ukaseme, "Oya! Oh yeah! Nani? Niko na results. Results zime come out. Watu tarakanithi. Hakuna kitu mmetoa nyinyi. <laughs> Numbers ni nyinyi. <laughs> Alita disciples to himself. Akaambia, "Oya, oh yeah, disciples, I tell you the truth. I tell you the truth. Na jonyi mmecheki kwenye mimi nimecheki. Watu wamekamwa wamekamwa kwanza eh. Sikizeni hapa. Kwa hiyo rende yote. Kwa hiyo give yote. Hakuna mtu ametoa do more kushinda mazee this poor widow. In other words, giving is a matter of revelation. 
Jesus alikuwa na imbi hawa dhi. Kamini ni wapati revelation. Hawa tuote. Hawana about giving. Nataka nyinyi mkwe na an understanding. Hawa tuote. Hawana. Come, doctor, kwa na distinction between you who are my disciples. Na imbra ya ingine. Yeni I hope wisdom ineza watuanga. Hata wawa become disciples. Then finally, inasema, they all gave out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in everything, all she had to live on. Hapa ndio sasa tunaka kujuliza swali. So what's the revelation kwa hii story yote? Two things to zenye mimi zili mistrike. Two simple things. Number one, the value of your giving is not determined by the count of your gift, but rather by the price you've paid in your giving. The value of your giving is not determined by the count of your gift, but rather by the price you've had to pay for you to give. Mtiangu, indo hina nikumbusha what Dawudi alikuwa nasema, I will not give unto the Lord what has cost me nothing. Na cheki u mother maze, Kresa nasema cheki, in terms of currency, kuna watu wa meka large amounts wewe, uwe meto 1 million, 100,000, 55,000. Ndiyo in terms of physical currency wa meto wa domob, Walata ni kuambi in terms of what speaks in the spiritual currency. Huyu mother na peni zake mbili. Ame toa mingi zaidi. Which means it's not about the physical count to know what about. But what is the background of this giving mtiangu? Huyu mother for her. She gave everything she had to live on. These other guys gave out of their wealth. In other words, nikiwa na 10 million ni pia na 100 tao. Ata ziko shua account na tingika. Banki hezi ni pigia zimu ni ambia vitu mingi sana. The count for this woman was two copper coins. But the price was her livelihood. The second thing nilipata as a revelation kwa hii story ni yati. What touches the heart of God most is not more what we give but rather what we do not withhold from him what touches the heart of god the most is not more about what we give but what we do not withhold from him in other words nesa peana do lakini nime withhold my talent nime withhold my children nime withhold my gifts ni me withhold my spouse. Unaambia Mungu, I can give you anything but this one. You can have anything but this one. There are things unajiambia mimi I can give God kiti yote lakini siwezi jipeana. I can't offer my body to God as a living sacrifice. So wewe unajiambia simupatia God tao tano kila kila wiki. Simupia God tao 50. Simupia God 100 tao. Lakini my life achane nayo. My life is my own. Atoshekele ile do nampatia. <laughs> Genesis chapter 22, eh? Verse 12 in a story interesting ya Abraham. Napenda comment ya God towards Abraham. Abraham ameenda to sacrifice Isaac. Ai. Abraham ako serious na kisu wewe unasema nini? Eh, that. Ashaona venye andaka tu kupiga piga piga mtoi wake mabisu za haraka. Isaac amengedhi hapo hivyo. Isaac amekula shoka na angalia ahambini uni hey, tunaongea kusu absentee fathers. Sijini gani waskati ana absentee father na buda andaka kukuo ukiona. Yuko hapa na buda na pantambua mimi wewe. Akinua kisu hivi Mungu anamwambia hey, wewe 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 wewe. Hey. Tava chini bro, tava chini. Then God and I'm sure, now I know that you fear God because you 
have not withheld your son from me. Your only son. Kuna sema wacha. Alafu ana provide sacrifice ya kupeana hapo very fast. Romans 8:32 Paul ana make reference to God and his giving of Jesus Christ to us. Anatumia a similar reference. Anasema now to him who did not withhold his only son from us. Anaongea kuhusu what God alifanya kitopatia Jesus Christ. Wacha niambie. In this giving and they say it is good to give. Financially peana that's cool. But what is it that you are withholding from God is a bigger question in our giving. What is there to boast about when you give money but you withhold your life from God? When you put in checks but you have withheld your livelihood from God, the things that you feel na kushik, kama umeshikilia, then what is there to boast about in your giving? What are you saying? Two practical examples of my life in the times when I have felt that the moments we may experience my greatest answers or quickest answers of miracles from God have come from a place where my giving has been tested. As a couple na wife when I'm totally agree for instance uh uh mkikuja kwa mambo ya tithe we appreciate the mambo ya 10% but we believe we will worship the Lord with a higher percentage so we determined when we are tithing for us, we don't tithe 10%. We tithe a percentage we agreed that is above the 10%. When I'm going to give my offerings, I have a predetermined amount that I give. Nisha predetermine. Ijalishi kama ndaenda church every other day of the week. Bora ni mingia church to worship. I will give this predetermined amount as my worship to God every other time. Now, I have given without trouble many times. Because na give from a place where nina wealth already as in kuna do mali naitoa nikiitoa nikiangalia accounts they wacha hivyo kuna kitu so haina pressure zini hata una feel hiki kitu ni mingi hata naweza ongeza naweza piga top up mm. na feel god ame ni bless naweza piga top up mm. kwa hii but what ni kuambia the moments nimekuwa nimekuwa tested is when this amount nikitoa hakuta kuwa na food mtaani is when he amount nikitoa sina fare hii wiki ama sina petroli hii wiki ama kuna need fulani haitakuwa met hii wiki believe it or not nimejipata places nimeanza kuaju nikajiuliza ni nani alisema atuwezi lipa 10% nani alisema mimi mimi niliandika niliandika wapi na je niki, niki go back to 10% ndakosea nani Pasta tanipigia makofi you are a faithful taita Buda nimeka hivi nashikilia do kwa mkono niko kwa chat hii ni discussion mimi i and myself tuko nayo mkutano wa tongapi watu watatu tuko hapa hivi pasta na ngangano huko mbele kuhubiri service inaendelea mimi na battle hapa hivi kwa kili nitoe nisitoe nikitoa kutendaje home mazini watu wanategemea hii do the price i have to pay nikitoa hii do Mzee God ata understand mzee hata mimi nimekuwa nikipeana hizi siku zingine man. God ata understand Buddha. Kumbuka ni mimi ni predetermine. Sikushikiwa bunduki na mtu. Ni mimi na mdomo yangu nikaenda kwa God nikasema mimi God nitakuwa na kam kuku worship na this every time na come before your presence. The times I have obeyed. What are the two times do? Nyenye ni mona instant response ya God. Kuna time moja I don kwa nataka kupeana mazendio naona venye ninaenda ku sort food ya fahamu. Nisha predetermine. That week nimekuwa church several is jiku kulikuwa na midweek service jiku kuna service. Nimepeana nimepeana. Na feel mazee hii Sunday hii hii. Hata God pia anapaelewa. Na mimi mi nilifungua mdomo wangu nikaingia agreement na God. Hakuna mtu alinituma by the way. Mimi tu na wisdom zangu nikajiambia hivi ndio nitakuwa nafanya. Buda nika struggle nika obey nikasema ah wacha ikue service ikaisha kuna kuna na an extended time of worship mti yangu maze service imeisha nimechiltoa pivo na shanga eh mimi mist call huyu jamani nini man jamaa maze amenganga nao nachukua simu bana eh sema bana ni aje anaambia buda 
uko wapi na famo kujeni saa hii bana in other words u jamaa sema hii maze tumetaka kuwa a blessing to you and your family tunataka maze tu treat u jamaa in short what ali spend on us was five times in my estimation what nilikuwa nimepanga ku spend on my entire family the second time mti yangu nimekaa nika obey in the same way Mazai nimetoka nikijemea hii ndio ndo nimebaki nayo. Mazai nikitoa hii wiki zinda ndeishiaje. Sijinda muvaje from point A to B. Lakini nilisha predetermine before time. Wata ni obey nika obey. Nikatoka service, nikaenda home, nikalala kaa katua wazi nilikuwa nasikia usingizi na nisumbua mali fulani. Nika relax nikaamka five, nikiamka hivi kuchukua simu. Eh? Tena kuna jamaa alikuwa na deni yangu. Kumba nisha tumwe mpesa seven times the amount nilikuwa nimepeana. Kota kanza maze kuni kuni convict. Amza we. Mbona hii lesson ya kuni trust inaka unashinda ukianguka game tiani. But mimi na know if if you pay I know the price you are paying to be able to honor me with your giving. But the same auto peane tu kila kitu uko nayo without the leading of God mtiango by the way. Wacha nikusaidie. Kuna kuna mapasta na gift ya kuhip emotions eh. Ujamaa anaweza fanya feel by the way kama siwezi peana nyumba yangu ni shilingi spendi Mungu. But I can tell you if it was the voice of God as you give you will see the response of God to confirm that your actions indeed were in obedience to the leading of the Holy Spirit. If hakuna response unaweza gauge useme what I mean how did God respond to this then anza kujiuliza maswali kama ulisikiza Mungu ama ulisikiza binadamu mwenye meiva weep emotions Kuto Mungu na wacha tu na hii statement nikikafunga In your giving what are you withholding from God Here in your heart Are you withholding your life from God? Your talent from God, your gifts from God, your resources from God, your dependence from God. What is it that you are holding from God? That is the question to not only ponder over but also answer conclusively. Mungu atusaidie ama at Freddy Buddha Boss tumeleshana like follow share subscribe then you know if you come again